POC Network here with another unboxing, this time coming from the company Mobvoi. And this right here is the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS Edition. And it is the very latest watch from Mobvoi and their flagship. Inside is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 4100 processor. It's actually a dual processing system with Mobvoi. So you have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 4100 and Mavoy dual processor system for the official title. It's operating with 16 gigabytes of RAM and eight gigabytes of capacity for installing all of your favorite apps. You have dual display 2.0, which is kind of interesting because you have two displays. You have the top display and that's the year always on. So that's your clock. It's a very low energy display that doesn't consume a lot of battery life. So it's kind of like it's sleep display. So when you're not looking at it, it switches to that. And then when you look at it, it switches to its normal 1.4 inch AM OLED display. Now, obviously it's both 1.4 inches, you know, but the AM OLED display with the really nice display underneath is what you're actually looking at when you want to, you know, make use of the watch, tracking your fitness or anything else. And then again, when you drop your hand away, it automatically switches to the always on display and it saves energy when you're not directly staring at it. Of course, all these options can be disabled, but it's, there's a big benefit to that. But the glass features Gorilla Glass with military grade durability. It's waterproof rating is IP68, uh, which means you can go swimming in it and it'll survive. You just don't wanna go diving really. Uh, with this watch. So, but general swimming in a normal pool, you can do that with this watch with the IP68 rating. And of course, you know, it's the Ultra GPS edition, so it has GPS and it has access to all five of the global satellite systems. Of course, it doesn't just end there. I mean, it is the company's flagship smartwatch. So you have a built-in barometer, you have a heart rate tracking uh, capability with a regular heartbeat monitoring or detection. So, you know, AFib, Bring it a lot closer to some of the other flagship options out there like you know apple but you also have spot blood oxygen monitoring you have fatigue assessment you have sleep tracking you have fitness tracking you have google pay support you have the ability to take phone calls uh, because it has a built-in microphone and a speaker it has bluetooth 5.0 and wi-fi support as well as all of the normal features you'd ever expect to find in a smart watch so let's talk about the battery life now 577 mAh battery, capable of delivering up to 72 hours of use. And that's normal use, looking at the actual screen, the display, and letting it, you know, hibernate into its uh, always on display for when you're not looking at it, going back and forth, playing and tracking on your fitness, your sleep. Uh, and that's what's really important is sleep. A lot of these watches don't really give you a full 24 hours of use, so what's the point in using it to track your sleep? Because it's just gonna die in the middle of the night if it isn't dead already. So a lot of these watches, you have to charge them overnight. So this one, you don't because it lasts up to 72 hours. So keep it on your wrist. Allow it to track your day's activities, your exercising, everything else, your, your heart rate. And then at the end of the night, allow it to track your, your sleep as well. You just have to sacrifice. At some point in there, you're gonna have to put it on the charger because it's only 72 hours. So it's not forever, but still 72 hours is a lot better than 24 hours or less. Assuming it lives up to that, of course. And then you have up to 45 days in essential mode. And what that means is you just switch it to essential mode. You're not actually using any of the other options, no GPS or anything like that. You're pretty much just using the on-screen display. That's it. Uh, but the benefit of that is what if you're camping and you're out in the woods, uh, you're going to be out there for a week. Uh, obviously, 72 hours is not a good enough battery life, but you want to be able to still keep track of the time. Set it to essential mode and you'll be able to accomplish that and it'll give you up to 45 days worth of battery life in this essential mode. That is a really good battery life, assuming, of course, it lives up to that. And then we'll, of course, you know, test that out in the story later on at plcnetwork.net. So let's go ahead and take a look at this watch, the flagship watch from Mavoy, the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultimate GPS. Now, the first thing you're brought to when you open it up are the instructions. A little insert right here, it's kind of smashed in there. Yours might not look like this. Maybe this is just by chance. And again, it kind of looks like the instructions are a little bit bigger than the box, which is kind of why it's kind of tucked in there. So you just kind of pull it out there. It's unfortunate that that had to happen, but I'm sure the company's probably going to work on this because they're not going to leave it this way. Um, they're, they're probably going to reprint these so they match the case better. But it is a quick guide that just runs you through usage of the watch. 
uh, how to install the app on your phone, get everything registered, choose uh, some of your customizations, such as your color, and some basic information, such as talking about the heart health settings. And we have a USB cable. Uh, this is your actual charging cable for the Mobboy watch. Now, all the Mobboy watches have this. It's a magnetic charger that hits the back of the watch to charge it. So you do not have a universal USB solution for this that just simply plugs into the side. A lot of this is because of its water rating and you know helping to maintain your ability to jump into the pool with this, as well as just the company wanting to make it a proprietary connector, maybe in case you lose it or damage it, you know, now they can charge you any price they want to replace it. But again, most of, the, most of that actually has something to do with its water rating than anything else. And a lot of people, you know, they, you know, sometimes you might find that it's kind of annoying that you got to slap this on the bottom, lay it on his back or whatnot. And what if you want to use it as, you know, kind of a, a clock while it's charging or whatnot? You can't see it when it's laying on its backside. So what you do is uh, reach out to a friend that has a 3D printer and 3D print a base for it, given this one here is for the TicWatch Pro 2020 edition, you know, but it gives you an idea of what it would look like to 3D print your own base or get somebody else to do it, and you just integrate this into it, slaps on the base, and then you can actually use it as a clock while it's not in use as well, so just kind of a cool thing. Toss it on, take it off, you're not sitting there playing around with anything. You're on your own on that one, though. It doesn't come with that. And then you have the band. Now, the band is made out of floral rubber. It's a very nice feeling rubber material that's supposed to be very resistant uh, to things like sweat and chemicals, you know, and anything else that it might come across from wearing it on your wrist all day. Uh, so you should have a lot of good wear and tear out of this. And it's the same easy latching system here to be able to put it on and off the watch face with, which means you might even be able to use the Tick Watch Pro 2020 band if you preferred, which we'd probably ourselves prefer to use this one, given the other one does have more of a leather feel to it. This one might feel better underneath because the other one wasn't always as comfortable underneath while wearing it for long periods of time. So this hopefully would be a lot better. And then you have the watch face, which is pretty light, actually. It's, it's actually lighter than the 2020 model, it feels like. And it's easy to pop on the, the latch. You just kind of get the first hole in there and pull this down and just let go of the latch and it just latches right into place. Do the same thing on the other side. And just like that, everything is done. This is what it looks like. It looks fantastic. Again, it feels lighter than the uh, 2020 model. Uh, it is also thinner. And you have the speaker, it looks like. Maybe it's the microphone or speaker. Uh, it looks like a speaker. Yeah, this is speaker on the left side. Microphone's probably that in the dead center of the right side. Plus, you have your two typical controls here, which is your multifunction controls for accessing the app menu or, and or your if you want to assign your favorite apps to one of these. The back side has all of your sensors. So when you're wearing it, this is what's tracking everything uh, for your, your heart rate monitor and everything else. And then, of course, this these contacts right here is where the charger just connects. Again, it's magnetic. It's really easy to use. So you don't really need a dock, but you know, when you're just laying it on your dress or anything else like this, it may not be as enjoyable as if it would be, you know, sitting in a mount that you're staring at at all times to see the time. You just have a uh, little spacer here. You have some uh, FCC information and that's it. Uh, so that's really, it's a simple watch. You have your band, you have your watch face, you have your quick guide. You can probably go online for much more detailed instructions, I'm sure. And that's it. I mean, it's, it's a nice looking watch. Again, it's smaller than the 2020. It's thinner than the 2020. At least it looks like just holding it in my hand. And now we're going to put it side by side with the 2020, which is right here. This is the Pro 2020, the custom watch face on it. You can see the sensors taking off here in the back. The two controls on the side, it's quite similar. But if we put this side by side, we can immediately tell that the 2020 is bigger. It is absolutely bigger. It is taller. It is not exactly wider. Well, no, no, it's definitely not wider, but it is taller. So there's a lot of similarities, uh, but really it comes down to newer version means better. It's in this case, not bigger, better. It's lighter, smaller and better, more features and just as durable pretty much as the 2020. Both of these are fantastic watches. Again, absolutely wonderful watch in the 2020. We've loved it from day one. The new one we expect is gonna be a lot better. So price, the price of this is $299. It's not a lot. It's actually very competitive uh, compared to what's out there in the market in terms of other flagships that this is going head to head with. So for $299, it's at the same price or even below some of those other options. 
putting it in a pretty good spot, especially since they have a pretty good history of making a good smartwatch. So you have a good history, a good company with good quality products and their flagship model that's at or below the price of the competitor. And it's only available in one color, so you're looking at it. It's called Shadow Black. So this is the Shadow Black model, the one and only of the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. And you have the option of swapping out the band. So that's your really your only customizable feature, physically speaking, is just the bands. The watch body will remain the same, no matter what you do, unless they come out with another one. The company could always surprise you with another version of the Pro 3, but who knows? Can't really bank on that. But you can bank on the fact that you can swap out the band with whatever you want to use, and it does appear to be the exact same latching system. So if you have another from a previous model that you prefer to use, you can always transfer that to this one, or just look online for other options that you can buy from Mobvoi or places like Amazon. Beyond that, you're gonna to have to wait till the story publishes at pocnetwork.net, because obviously we can't fit everything into one video, just taking it out of the box. We have to spend some time with this. So after a series of so many days of playing with this and really testing out its features, its battery life and everything else, we'll let you know what we like or don't like about it in the story, again at pocnetwork.net, once it's published. And we'll have that link in the description below as well as a link on where to find this new watch. We'll have all that information in the description so you can get to it easily. And again, as well as the link to the reviews. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and follow us as we have plenty more videos coming in the future. And of course, use the comment section in case you want to chat with us or with each other about any questions or comments, feedback, or anything else that you feel you have for this watch. As always, we thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest, and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.